Hey guys, I'm in Queenstown, New Zealand. I just made it here today about a few hours ago. And this is the view from not a few steps from my hostel that I checked into. It's actually pretty cold here, or cooler, um, than everywhere else I've been. I've pretty much experienced all the seasons. Just walked over here to get a glimpse. It is absolutely breathtaking here. And it is the start of autumn. So I have two tours booked for tomorrow, so I'm just taking it easy today. Early morning start, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow to go to Milford Sound. And then the day after that, I'm going to, I think, Mount Cook. So it was a combo tour. I think it was around $300 for both tours, which is why I'm doing both. And so far, um, this is the first trip that I'm taking by myself because I had someone accompany me every leg of my holiday vacation so far. So I'm all by myself now and I think I've chose the perfect place to do some solo traveling. Um, it is cold here. I do feel myself getting a little sick. But right now, I'm just gonna go explore the town and what's around the hostel and then I'll grab some dinner and head back in early just so I can get a good night's sleep for a full day of activity tomorrow. So I'll take you around and show you the sights. I'm still walking around in the indoor mall. I got some stuff from the store called Dotty. They have it in Sydney too, and they have a lot of great basic layers. It seems that stores here kind of close whenever they want. So some stores like this one are still open, but then this one is closed. So I just asked the girl, and she told me that some stores close at five or six, and some stores close at 7.30 or 10. So I guess I'll just walk around and see who's open. There's a ton of these tour information and booking sites. It's making me wonder if I should have booked my tours ahead of time because there's plenty of places where you can compare prices and ask them questions. It's like every other shop is a tour information um, store where you can get pamphlets and I guess ask the people to schedule a tour. But I already have mine booked so I'm not going to worry about it. So this place was very, very busy when I walked by earlier. It's still busy and one of the girls uh, that I asked where to eat, she recommended it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go in there just because it looks like it's a very popular spot. just finished dinner at Ferg Burger and it was awesome. It was too loud in there for me to really record, but it was good stuff. Best burger I've had outside of America. Shake Shack's still pretty good, but it's pretty dark out now. I'm gonna get some snacks for tomorrow. This gets you onto the boat. That's your boat boarding pass there. And
bus driver just let us off. I'm not sure why, maybe to go see something. Pretty tired and my cough is getting really bad, but the site is really nice. This is Jackie from LA. Hi. About to make a wish with how much is this? Ten cents. Ten cents. <laughs> In the, I think it's the chasm. We made it. This is the boat that we're gonna be boarding at eight ten. It is currently one fifteen. So it took eight nine ten eleven twelve one. It took five hours to get here. <laughs> I know, with all the stops. <laughs> well, we're on the boat and it's lunchtime, but I didn't buy a lunch uh, included in my tour, so I'm just gonna eat what I have because the lunch is like 32 not New Zealand dollars, and I'm okay. So here's all the seating and all the people that got off the buses. As you can see, many, many tourists from all over, but a lot of Chinese and it's rare to see Americans. People are still boarding. Thank you. 